Okay, first off, I realized that my video was late, and I apologize for that. It seems to be a new habit that I'm getting into of putting on my videos late. Um, there were a couple of charities that I was thinking about doing, but because I don't feel very well, I'm going to do one that's always bugged me because I live in Chatham. Now you're thinking, what the hell? But either way, living in Chatham has driven me to really wish people would support this charity. So this Charity Tuesday, I am going to talk to you about the Humane Society of Canada. Um, there's like a bunch of ways you can donate to the Humane Society of Canada. Um, obviously the first one, and the one that most of us generally do, is adopting a pet from the Humane Society. Um, I know a lot of people think that it costs a lot of money, and yeah, it's kind of a hefty cost, but when you think about it, they're getting their shots, and they get neutered, spayed and neutered and everything, and... It's worthwhile because if you're intelligent enough to know what happens to those animals that don't get adopted, you're going to want to adopt them instead of going and buying a brand new little kitty or puppy dog. Um, the second way is you can be a part of their eBay charity auction that, that, that they do. Whoa. Whoa. That they do year-round. Um, you'd have to go onto their website to be sure of the times and... Um, I know they have one around Christmas time, for sure. Um, the other way would be just to donate to the Humane Society. You can donate. You can donate to the whole Humane Society of Canada, or you can donate specifically to a branch near your home. Um, I think that it's important to take into account the fact that the Humane Society is not only for pets. Um, they protect livestock wild animals, um, lab animals, and Dad. nature, apparently, now. I, I wasn't aware of this. Um, they do more than just take in animals. They do undercover investigations, rescue missions, non-invasive sur surgical material. I can't speak. Non-invasive scientific research. Um, they support shelters and rehab rehabilitation clinics. Um, they're funded only by do by donations, so donations are the primary sustenance of these kinds of places. So that's why I'm saying you really should want to get involved. If you have pets, if you love animals, if you love nature, whatever the reason, you should. Um... They also have a bunch of campaigns, and yes, I am reading off a paper, because that's how I roll. Um, some of their campaigns that they have going on right now that you can be a part of um, are Disaster Relief, Wildlife in the Spring, Horse Slaughter, I, I don't like the sounds of that one, The Whale Hunt, and you know I don't like that one, because you know I love the whales, um, Seal Hunt, how can you want to hurt a seal? I'm sorry. Whale and dolphins in captivity, spay and neuter, and climate change. Um, so they have this whole list of things that you can do other than giving donations to help them, but I really think that what they need is funding. I know that in Chatham, my hometown, the reason I'm doing this stupid video, is there's a big problem with our, with our humane society. Um, around Christmas, they run out of a lot of... The materials they need to take care of the animals and since Chatham has an abundance of stray cats and yes I'm looking at you like this because you can stop that stop letting your cats have kittens and putting them outside take care of them or bring them to the Humane Society and put in a donation and then they'll be adopted but no even spayed and neutered hello but yeah I know that our Humane Society needs Cat, cat food, dry cat food, dry dog food, kitty litter, um, I think that's it, but, like, desperately. So, I thought that doing, oh, sorry, I really don't feel good. Um, I thought that doing this video was actually, it was connected to being home in Chatham, and, so yeah, and it's gonna be crappy because I'm not editing it because I don't feel like it so yeah I hope everyone has a really good Christmas Eve and I hope everybody um 
appreciates their animals, appreciates the fact that we have things like the Humane Society, and appreciates all the work that they do. And if you ever want to get involved, um, you definitely should. Alright, that's all I got to say. Sorry for, sorry for the lateness.